Hey guys, Trigger Gamer Channel, coming at you with another Diablo Immortal video. In this video, we are going to be talking about hilts. Now, I know some of you may not think these are a big deal, but honestly, these are probably one of the most, uh, I would say, not really uh, util utilized well resource in the game as far as currency goes. And you definitely want to make sure that you're taking full advantage of what you can be doing with hilts and what it can actually generate you in Diablo Immortal. Now, when it comes to hilts, there are there's a few things that we want to talk about. So first things first, let's start with what do you spend hilts on? So hilts are a currency in the game that you get by doing a various amounts of activities. We'll go ahead and we'll cover a few of those in just a minute. However, in the meantime, I want to go ahead and I want to pull up exactly what you would use hilts on. So as you can see here in the shop, I bought the legendary crest this month, this this month. I bought my legendary item, uh, which is this week. I have bought my monthly Carson's Invigoration, even though I am a well, and I really probably don't necessarily need this. Um, I am going to buy my five Aspirants keys. I do this every single day. Um, and I will probably end up buying my both my simple charms. And at some point in time, if I have enough hilts from the week of grinding, I will buy Reforged Stones. Now, we also have, when you are immortal, you get these signals of dominance. Uh, you're guild would highly recommend that you buy these daily. They are very beneficial to everybody in your guild. Uh, obviously, you have also the limited time uh, items, which you can see here. They do vary. These are not guaranteed to be the same. And you can see that these will get refreshed every 17 minutes. Now, now that we've talked about what you spend hilts on, let's talk about where you get hilts, how you get hilts, why you want to use them, what to actually spend them on, what actually gives you the most fluck for your buck, as far as like what the return is, right? So first things first, let's go ahead and let's show you a few spots where you can actually get hilts. Now, you will notice that we do ha currently have events going on, right? So we currently have the End of the Dark Wood uh, events, which you can see. Okay, well, here we get some resources, but John, there's no hilts there. You're right. There really isn't. There's no Echo of the Mortal. However, by clearing Fractured Plains, you can get 400 hilts. That's halfway decent return on investment. And if you clean level 15, clean, clear level 15, that gives you 800. That's going to give you 1,200. Now, this is a special one-time event that goes until the 13th of September. So this is going to be different. So if you're watching this at a later date, you may go, well, I don't see this event. And that's because this is a special event. But notice that it's giving you 1,200 hilts. If we talk to the Hilts Trader again, you will see that with 1,200 Hilts, that almost gets you a free Legendary Crest for the month, almost a leg uh, Legendary Item for, for the week, uh, so on and so forth. So if you're kind of following me, by doing one kind of event, you can get quite a bit of return on your, your investment in time, right? So you kind of get to double dip by doing an event and then also get a resource. Now, the other thing to note is you get a lot of, of these Hilts by doing just your daily activities. Now, you will see here as you go through some of these, uh, you can get hilts in various locations for various things. Uh, I don't believe you can actually get it for anything over here on this side of things. But if you go on the conquest side, you will see that each one of these, clearing each one of these, is going to give you some sort of a hilt reward. Uh, player versus player, it's going to be the same exact thing. Uh, even achievements, guys. Even when you do your achievements, you're going to get some hilts as a uh, as a benefit of it. You can even see where by doing certain of these. Uh, uh, events within the game that you can actually drop even more hilts. Now you can stack these up very quickly. You can get a massive amount of hilts, but every day you'll have the possibility to gain quite a bit of hilts. Uh, there is no limit to how many you can get per day. And honestly, minimum is going to be totally dictated by how much work that you put in each and every day on your dailies and what you do as far as your activities go. Now you will see that even by doing your guide here, you can get some XP bonuses here. You don't get any hilts from doing these, but you do want to make sure that you're taking advantage of them because even when you get to the battle pass, notice that on the battle pass, we get a lot of free hilts throughout the entire time. Now this is on the actual free side. Notice that when we scroll through here, we're not actually seeing any hilt on the pay for side. These are all on the free hand side. So this means everybody is getting the opportunity to go ahead and get these extra hilts. Now, you may ask yourself, John, why do I care and, and, and why are you bringing this up? Well, I'm bringing it up for several reasons. One, you need to be grinding your, your uh, Enigmatic Ignit Ignit Crystals to get your gear up here, right? Well, by completing challenges, that gives you hilts. Now, with those hilts, what can you do to help those out? You have a few different options here. Let's talk about your options as far as what to spend your hilts on, what's going to be the most return on your investment and your time investment. Now. There are crests in the shop that you can buy. Sure. Now, what do these crests give you? These give you a chance at a potential one-star gem uh, that is in a prize pool when you use one of these crests. 
Uh, you get more, you know, uh, runes and whatnot. Uh, it also generates the uh, the rune for the uh, eight, uh, ATI. Yes, ATI runes, which means you can then craft gems, right? Those are bound to your account, however, so keep that in mind. So that's basically what these are for. These create these, which then get used to create your other gems. You can create two star, one stars. These are amazing if you want to just create and print some gems to use as fodder leveling up. Now, is that going to be worth your time? So let's think about this. If it takes 600 hills to do this, we just showed you an event that gave you 1,200, and this is a one-time event, and we just showed you some rewards that gave you about 100 for completion. 600 hills per day, or even a week, whenever, is never going to be a good investment to buy crests. So you're going to want to avoid crests at all times. Uh, this is going to be something that you definitely do not want to waste any hilts on, even if you do seem to have a surplus of hilts. Now, next, let's talk about, okay, what would be another one that'd be really worth your time? How about normal gems? Is normal gem gonna be worth your time? So let's talk about this. How prominent are normal gems in the game? How often can you get them? And what is your return on your investment? So right now, normal gems, you can buy a limit of 10 out of 10, which means that you can go up and you can buy all 10, and it's gonna cost you about 2,000 hilts. Now, you can get, on average, anywhere between, I would say, 1,000 to maybe 1,200 a day on average, depending on how the day is going uh, and what challenges you're completing, what, what events you're doing, so on and so forth, like, you know, what you've unlocked, what you haven't unlocked. Uh, so is it going to be worth it to go ahead and get the normal gems? I think this is going to come down to you and what is extremely circumstantial to your count. If you are somebody who is extremely lacking when it comes to these gems over here, let's say you don't have these to rank five and you can't rank them up any higher because once you get past this, you're going to kind of, you're going to suffer a bit. You're going to need some other, uh, you're going to need some platinum to get these up to level six. And these do take a lot of resource to actually get to level six. Notice that most of mine are all level five other than one resistance here. And I'm actually just stacking all my uh, tourmalines so that way I can eventually get this up to level six. So in my case, would it be beneficial for me to go ahead and buy my normal gems for 2000 this week at, when I have 80, almost 8,800 hilts? Um, it would be advantageous in this case because I am someone who I really need a lot of these. Now, Keep in mind, these are bound to your account, so they don't actually give you anything benef benef beneficial back other than an increase to whatever the, the gym quantity is on your side of things. So definitely keep that in mind. If you are a free to, pl free -to play player, this honestly is gonna be something that you're probably going to pass on. You're not necessarily needing normal gems as much as you really are kind of needing platinum so that way you can buy your legendary gems, which is actually far more important and beneficial to your account than these normal gems will be. Next, let's talk about the Reeseforge Stones. These are, once again, one of those very circumstantial pieces of, of stone, I, I guess we'll call it. It's, it's, it's currency, right? Uh, these are super important and circumstantial because when you go over here, you will see that I have actually quite a bit of these. I have 36 of them so far. What these do is they allow you to go ahead and roll extra stats on your uh, gear. So notice here I have a bonus to shielded image. I have an all skill damage increase by 1.5%. If we go down here, I also have another bonus, so on and so forth. And actually, I am using both the like the trimmer stone for a reforged stone, actually on one of them for a set bonus, or family bonus as they call it. And I'm also using reforged stones. These are permanent attribute boosts that go on your equipment. Are these important and impactful to your account? They are extremely, especially when you stack them up. Is this something that you're going to want to buy daily from the hilt trader? Honestly, I would say this is gonna be circumstantial and you're probably going to pass on buying the Reforged Stone every single day, mainly just because, um, or sorry, when I say every day, I mean every week. And that's because once you get those set one time, you probably don't want to do them again. And you will get Reforged Stones here and there by completing events, by completing, completing quest lines, uh, battle pass, so on and so forth. And I think it's definitely important that you, you not acknowledge that, hey, if you are someone who is trying to go ahead and get your stats, bonus stats, equipped correctly, uh, you can buy up to eight a week. But I would definitely not waste the 1,600 hills on that every single week. Now, Aspirant Keys. This would be a little controversial because most people won't tell you to buy these every day. I will tell you right now, here and now, you should buy these every single day. The reason why I say you should buy these every single day is because these are a resource that every single day you need to be populating more and more and more of. If you buy five of these, you go do your three battlegrounds a day and you do the Ivan Fod Sanctum that gives you your four every day. Uh, that gives you enough to open the first floor chest every single day. And within about a month, you can open the major one, which is 377 keys, which then allows you to get a bigger boost for your Haradrim damage. Now, 
You may be wondering, well, why would I want to do that? The problem is not all that great, John. Well, actually it is. If we go to the Hut Legacy of Harajim, you can see I have one of them all the way up to 90. My damage already has a plus 76 damage. Now, for those of you who say, well, that's not very much, I want you to think about when you crit. I typically run with a Crusader, which means that when I crit, I do double the damage um, and for my attack. Now, keep in mind, with a Crusader, when the banner is popped, yes, it's not a true crit because it does not do double damage. And it's only the base damage plus the crit damage multiplier starting at 135, capping out 200% for your crit damage. But if you are someone who's a normal player running around and you're not running with a Seder and you're not critting all the time, you're going to get double the amount of this. So this is actually giving you a substantial amount. Also, you can get armor pin with armor. And armor does help very much as well as allowing a little bit of damage to be mitigated. We're going to do a better video on that when I get back in town and talk more about what armor can actually do for you. Because I'm noticing as we stack more and more armor, we are seeing more uh, returns on stacking higher, higher amounts of armor than we are before when we weren't really dealing with it too awful much. Uh, so getting these stats is actually pretty beneficial, right? And this is all in your Legacy of Harajim. And every single day, it is very feasible for you to come down here and buy these five keys. That's 250 health a day. You easily get those without little effort. <laughs> so it's definitely worth it. The other thing I want to talk about is Simple Charms. Now, Simple Charms are one of those resources where um, I didn't buy them yet this week. I'm going to buy them right now because they are something that I feel everyone should be buying as soon as possible because this is how you can print currency. This is how you can print platinum, especially if you are a free-to-play free player. This is going to be the biggest benefit for you as a free-to-play player because what happens when you buy a bunch of simple charms? If you go read my guide on DiabloPro.gg, you will see that I did a very detailed breakdown on how to use simple charms. I also broke down how you can sell simple charms. And also to be top that all off is these are not that easy to come by. These take a little bit of time. But once you acquire eight of them, you get a grand stone. This is an example of my grand stone or grand charm. It's pretty decent. Uh, the vengeance plus 8% is extremely rare. Most people cannot get that. Uh, so it takes a lot of rolls to get that. Well, I just bought an equivalent of five of these, right? I need eight of these to make a grand charm. What happens when I make a grand charm and say it's something I don't want? I can then extract it make it into a skill stone, and then I can sell it. What do they sell for on the market? Well, let's go ahead and let's pull it up on the market and let's see what they do sell for. Uh, you will see here when we get to the market and skill stones that they, on average, they're selling anywhere between 2,500. And if I go high to high to low, and these almost always sell uh, 2,500. Okay, so it costs you 500 platinum to make this, and you had to invest a little bit of actual hilt to get the 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 sim the simple stones every single uh, week. However, it's a very minimal investment in time and energy to go ahead and get a much much better return on investment. Right. So we bought four of them for four hundred hilt. Once again, super easy today to do. Uh, I'll probably get more than 650 of these hilt in a day, especially when doing other events. And even then, some when I, since I'm immortal, we get a bunch of random ones here and there. Uh, even at Shadows, I noticed you get a bunch of them here and there. I could go on for quite a bit of time to go ahead and explain to you the different ways and different places you can get the hilt. Um, but, like, example, I just opened one. Hey, I just got another 100. What did I need or what did I just spend? I've already recouped quite a bit of that, that loss. So it is something that is very possible and very viable. Uh, it's going to be totally up to you, though, as far as what you can actually achieve and what you're, and how far you can actually go with uh, completing and getting more hilts and what you would invest them in. Now, with that being said, I hope this didn't put you off on buying stuff in the Hilt Trader because it is all circumstantial. Keep in mind that Immortals, as Immortal, we do get special perks. We can buy uh, a little bit more things here and there, uh, especially as we level up as an Immortal. But once again, we're not going to buy this Daily Crest. We're going to buy this Sigil of Dominance every single day. I've already bought my weekly Legendary. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wait for the five minutes for this to re-roll. And I'm going to try to buy, once again, a simple charm. If it comes in here, I buy them as soon as I see them every single time. So that way I can then sell them for platinum. I hope this video helped you understand a little bit more as far as what to do with your hilts in the game. Uh, it is a currency that is very replenishable and very, uh, I would say, prominent as far as you're always going to have some and you're always going to keep, keep them on hand. It is something that you definitely want to make sure that you are aware of what they do and how to utilize and take advantage of them. Uh, if this video did help you, please like and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.